guys and welcome back to my channel in today's video we're gonna be talking about waist training using a waist trainer the true question is do you think it's actually legit or do you think it's just a big big scam so you could vote over here let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below and without any further ado let's get started so i'm pretty sure that all of you are very acquainted with what a waist trainer is it was a craze around 2015 2014 i got mine in 2014 i was very very curious because of the claims that came with it people were saying that you'd lose four inches off your waist just by wearing it people would wear it overnight other people would say that it shifts your organs everyone was really into it so i decided to get myself one and i still have it till today it's still very intact still very in shape and this is what our waist trainer looks like it, it's similar to a corset but it has like three hooks over here some of them have four some of them have five some of them have steel inside this one had plastic it's not the steel bone with strainer and basically what you do is that you wear it and as time goes by apparently your waist gets smaller and smaller so you keep on hooking it till the end yeah you, you hook it till the end <laughs> and you'll get your small waist within four weeks so I was really curious about it and I gave it a try. This was in 2014, January 2014, I remember. And I wore it for about three weeks, four weeks. As uh, promised, they said that I'd lose four inches off my waist. I wasted my hard and money buying this thing. Ah! Yani, every time I look at it, I just get angry. <laughs> it is such a scam. And if you're thinking of buying one, if you're thinking of getting one, just save your money. Save your money before spending your hard and coins on these things. Just don't be that person. Please learn from other people's experiences. People would go above and beyond and do absolutely everything and anything to get the body they want snatched, to get that figure that they want, other than just working out and eating healthy. Like, do you know how crazy that is? But I also think it's because of the quick payout that they claim to have. At in four weeks, you lose four inches, or in three days, you'll get your flat stomach. Like, that's where people what one and that's <laughs> what so now like you'll just be sitting at home waiting for your waist to get smaller <laughs> don't be that person the results are very short-lived very temporary so today i'm gonna share with you six tips in which you can use if you wanna drop those inches off your waist so without any further ado let's get started the first tip is to clean out your meals and by that i mean that you should just basically watch what you're eating get rid of the junk food get rid of the excess sugars get rid of the excess fats like you can have them once in a while i'm not saying that you completely delete them off your meals just have them in moderation i'd have my pizza once in two weeks or once a week if i feel like it yeah just have them in moderation don't eat your fries every day don't drink your soda every day it's all about moderation knowing what works for you and practicing portion control eating clean will take you such a long way like i know it may sound so cliche when they say that abs are made in the kitchen but it's it's honestly very true and it's actually the hardest part to get used to so once you figure out what you're meant to be eating and what you're not meant to be eating you will lose those inches like fire the next tip is to exercise don't just sit at home wearing your waist trainer expecting it to do all the work wearing that waist trainer will just shift your fat from one place to another you'll still have unhealthy weight you're carrying you're looking to carry healthy weight you're looking to get toned you're, lo you're looking to get snatched so the best thing to do here is to get active get your body going if you're into a certain type of sport go ahead and play your hockey if you're into yoga go ahead if you're into martial arts go ahead and do it yeah for me 
Personally, weightlifting really did the most and I'm so thankful that I made the decision to start lifting weights because not only did it trim me up and shape me up, it really toned me up and I feel healthier about myself. I'm more confident about the way I look and it's just like, it's basically the perfect mix with lifting and eating right. So you need to get the blood pumping. That fat you're looking to get rid of, it won't go alone by itself. So get moving and burn those calories. The next tip is to cleanse up. You need to have a regular cleansing up detoxing routine. And I'm not talking about drinking juice only for 10 days straight. Like don't do that. Do not do that. <laughs> I'm talking about a natural way to detox your system. Personally, I drink green tea every morning and every night before I go to sleep. Could try out ginger and lemon tea, water and lemon. Trust me, there are so many endless, endless concoctions you could be drinking. And the best part is that they're natural and you'll actually feel lighter and less bloated. You could also avoid certain meals or drinks. Like for me, milk. Milk gets me so bloated. Yanni, you'd think I'm five months pregnant when I drink milk. <laughs> So I cut off milk completely out of my diet. You could also avoid things like beans, things which will give you a lot of gas. The next tip is to drink your water. Drink a lot of water. Water cleanses your system. For me, I try to have at least three to four liters of water per day. The first thing I do when I wake up and open my eyes is to drink water. Just something about having water cleanse your system before you start your day it gets you lighter yeah it also speeds up your metabolism same thing with exercising i forgot to mention it speeds up your metabolism like you'll just be on you'll just be on the go and that aids a lot in weight loss so drink your water trust me drink your water the next tip is to avoid training your waist and your abs daily trust me doing your 150 sit-ups every morning will not really make a difference remember i mentioned that abs are made in the kitchen and training your abs every day just means that you are really getting to exhaust your muscles and remember that abs really are just like any other part in your body and they need to rest and recover before they grow and remember when i mentioned that abs are made in the kitchen so you really need to focus more on what you're eating other than the exercises you're doing yes i know at some point you'll get you'll want to tone up and get them to come out and be defined and that can be done through weight lifting you don't have to target them directly but that's a video for another day i'm gonna explain to you guys some other time <laughs> the final tip is to be patient and to love yourself as you are realize that some of these girls you see online wearing those with strainers you know they're all snatched and all that you don't know their journey you don't know their process probably they just had surgery done on them and then you you're thinking they're just working out and they're wearing the waist trainers and they're all snatched and lucky and looking good but really people are scammers out there so just love yourself and accept yourself as you are remember that your genetics your body type they play a major major role on where you store your fat in your body and how your body will look like in terms of shape height and all that stuff you know these things yeah so love yourself as you are, be patient. If you're working towards something, work towards it and be as genuine as you can because really you're looking for permanent results. You're not looking for any temporary fix. You wanna be snatched all year round. So put in the work and you will really get what you're working for. So keep on keeping on and stay true to yourself. <laughs> All right, guys, that is all from me today. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>